So guys, we have this. It's an old drop cam. We've heard that Google, or Nest, whoever owns it, um, has discontinued support for these old drop cams. And we couldn't set this one up. So uh, I've decided to open it up and show you guys what is in here. So there are four Phillips head screws on the back, PH1 type. No, one of the screws fell out. Oh, don't forget, there's a network cable for the Wi-Fi antenna still hooked up to the camera. Have this still in camera in shot. Pop that out, and you see the heat sink and all that. And the speaker fell out. And I pulled too hard on the cable for apparently what is the microphone. Hang on. Hang on, it's not popping out. I don't know. Just leave it there. We have some thermal paste. Pads, thermal pads. They stick to the wall really well. <laughs> there we go. That's correct. There's the speaker. So you can talk to people with your camera. Well, yeah. Here's the... What do you call it? Processor, storage, and memory. Yes, it has all that. Wait, is that the reset button? Apparently so. Could have reset it that way. Okay. Now, there are two screws on the back. Could be smaller than PH1. But no, they are. There are four of them. Well, unfortunately, you couldn't you repurpose these um, drop cams as um, webcams for computers. Uh, you know that USB camera that's probably on your computer if you have a desktop? You can, I don't know, Skype people or Google Hangouts someone, you know, call them on Google Hangout. Uh, you know that little camera? Yeah. I wish you could perp repurpose this as one. Oh! Okay, the whole thing comes off. And there's, oh, hit the camera. There's a little cable here. So I'll pop that off. I guess leave it there. And of course, there's another heat sink because this gets hot. It's a camera. So here's the camera assembly with infrared lights. Nope, that one doesn't stick to the wall well. And yet, there are more little screws, six of them. Oh, they're quite. I'm going to get another screwdriver. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. I got a smaller screwdriver, more appropriate for this.
Oh, missing one. Hang on. I highly suspect I am missing one screw. Oh no, I'm not missing a screw. It's this piece of tape. Oh no. Looks to be copper tape. Something like that. A copper strip or something. That's preventing me from opening it. So. Ah, there we go. Yet some more uh, heat sink material. Like thermal paste, that's what I want to call it. Okay, there, that sticks. Here's the heat sink for the camera. And we're gonna move that cable. Peel this off, and there's the sensor. You see that? There it is, I'm adjusting the light so you can see the sensor. Yeah, so adjust the light again. I hear there's something in it. Well, we're opening it up then. Okay, it peels off. It's only held in by glue. Wow, look at that sensor. Looks quite easy to scratch. Hang on. Ah, there is a... Wait a second, I need to remove that. piece of uh, plastic film. Might take a little time. loud did you guys hear that okay so here is the sensor in, in all of its glory not much of it left hold up yeah there it is oh, you can't see it now I don't know my camera doesn't want to work with me today that camera's an iPhone. Oh, it was glass. Now there's glass everywhere. Okay. Great, I'm not gonna do that again. Learned it. Okay. Wow. Crap. Uh, okay. Don't break that next time. Because I have more cameras to disassemble. I hope there's nothing on my hand. Okay, so that is made of glass. Here's the little camera eye. That's what I call it. I guess it could be unscrewed from the base. Yeah. And you can see through it. Here, let me put it up to the, to the lens. I don't know if you can see through the lens. But I sure can. Not much, but it's quite clear. 
Murphy, that thing. The lens. Yep, that's the lens of a Nest Cam. Is it a high quality lens? I don't know. Is it good? I don't know. All right, there are more tiny little screws here that I need to remove. Oh, I can't remove anymore because these are soldered on those lights. So the teardown is pretty much complete. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's it. There's the chip. Uh, it does have a little tiny bit of storage on it. So I might just try to use it as a USB drive. I don't know. Very weird looking one. And here is the case. How would it look with nothing in it? It looks quite believable that it's a camera mounted on the wall somewhere, but unless you get it close, well, there it is. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you found it kind of helpful when, if you're wondering what's inside a Nest Cam. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.